everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And for this one, we're going to be doing a vitamin C skincare routine. So this video is for those na meron ng basic skincare routine that you've been using for a while, pero gusto niyong mag-try na mag-incorporate or mag-add ng higher strength vitamin C or potent na vitamin C serum into your routine. Now, like I've said in a previous video, kapag beginner ka pa lang sa skincare, I don't really recommend using vitamin C kasi medyo marami kang kailangang alamin muna before mo siyang gamitin. And ako guys, kahit hindi naman ako beginner sa skincare, I don't also normally use vitamin C anymore. But just to be clear, hindi ko hate ang vitamin C. It's more of just iba kasi yung skincare goals and priorities ko ngayon. Mas ang goal ko kasi ngayon is really more on acne and yung pagiging sensitive and dry ng skin ko habang gumagamit ako ng acne medication. Pero if kayo, yung main goal nyo sa skincare routine niyo is more on preventing and reducing the signs of aging, like for example, fine lines and wrinkles while at the same time brightening the skin like tackling mga dark marks, mga red spots. Then this is a step-by-step -step sample routine to help you get the benefits of vitamin C in the most efficient way. Also, this video is in partnership with K-Beauty Cafe pero lahat ng mga information and tips about vitamin C na ibibigay ko in this video will apply in general regardless of kung anumang brands ng skincare yung gamitin niyo. So that being said, magsimula na tayo. Alright, so first off, as always, ipapakita ko muna yung skin situation ko right now. And as you can see, meron akong iilang mga red marks from pimples from the past. But kung manonotice ninyo, wala akong any active acne right now. And very, very important yun kapag gumagamit kayo ng vitamin C because using pure vitamin C in your skincare routine can actually irritate and aggravate breakouts. So kung acne prone yung skin type ninyo, make sure first na nasa point na kayo na hindi na kayo masyadong nagkaka-breakouts. As in, antayin nyo na maging concern nyo na lang is yung mga marks lang talaga sa skin and then dun kayo mag-start. Alright, so start na tayo with our vitamin C routine and guys, the first thing that I want you to know about pure vitamin C serums is lagi silang formulated at a low pH para maging effective sila. Again, as we know nga, yung vitamin C guys, very unstable siya na ingredient and so kailangan talaga siyang pinaformulate at a specific low pH or specific acidic na pH range. And sa first part pa lang ng skincare routine nyo guys, mapaghahandaan nyo na to by using a low pH cleanser para ma-maintain yung natural acidic pH ng skin natin. So, you can use any low pH cleanser that you want. Marami naman akong na-recommend sa channel ko na low pH cleanser. But the cleanser I'm currently using and enjoying right now is this one from the brand Tiam. And this is their Snail and Azoline low pH cleanser. So, for this cleanser, ang ginamit ni Tiam are mga gentle cleansing agents which are also known to be foaming but at the same time, effective pa rin sila sa paglinis ng skin and at the same time, na-maintain nila yung natural pH ng skin natin. Aside from that, this also does have 7% snail secretion filtrate which is very hydrating to the skin and it also gives it that very unique texture na mafe-feel mo lang kapag gumagamit ka ng mga snail products. As in, yung parang masaya siyang ganun-ganun yun. Kung gumagamit kayo ng mga snail products, you probably know this already. And speaking of yung texture niya sa skin, itatry na natin siya ngayon pero i-wet ko muna yung face ko. Alright, so basahan na yung face ko ngayon guys and now we will be applying this cleanser and tingnan niyo yung kulay nito guys. Hindi ko sure kung makikita siya sa camera. Mukha siyang clear at first pero meron siyang parang pagka-purple na kulay. Very, very interesting. But anyway, ilalather na natin siya and guys, tingnan niyo talaga itong mag-lather. Sobrang bilis. Ayan, so nilagyan ko lang siya ng konting tubig para mas makita niyo pero look, look at that. Can you believe gentle cleanser na ganito ka grabe bumula? And yung foam niya guys is not heavy na foam pero yung very lightweight lang talaga na foam. Kaya talaga sobrang impressed ako dito. And that's something that I really really like sa Korean skincare right now kasi parang na master na talaga nila yung paggawa ng mga foaming cleansers but at the same time gentle pa rin yung mga cleansing agents na ginamit nila. Traditionally kasi yung mga ginagamit ng mga brands dati was yung ingredients na may ristic acid and potassium yung hydroxide. Now, yung dalawang ingredients na yun, hindi naman sila masama individually pag nilagay mo sila sa mga skincare formulas. But used together, yung potassium hydroxide and yung myristic acid are usually used in higher pH cleansers. So, kung makita nyo yun sa ingredients list ng isang cleanser, most likely, high pH na cleanser yung tinitingnan nyo. But anyway, completely ko na siyang nalagay sa mukha ko. It's now time to wash this off. So, I'll be right back. 
Alright, so nagtatawal dry na ako ngayon guys and yung feel talaga ng cleanser after you wash this off sobrang satisfying siya but at the same time, hindi mo na feel na na-strip yung skin mo of its natural oils and most importantly hindi na-disrupt yung pH ng skin barrier natin. Alright, so now that we're done cleansing our skin move on na tayo to the next step of our routine which is actually optional depending on your skin type and this is using an essence or a hydrating toner. So another thing that you guys should know about vitamin C is very very poor yung absorption rate niya sa skin natin. And what that just means is kailangan nating i-prep yung skin natin ng mabuti para ma-absorb siya as much as possible. So dito pumapasok yung mga hydrating toners and mga essences. Pero again guys, optional step nga lang ito because vitamin C can actually be a bit more irritating especially kung high percentage yung gamit ninyo. It could potentially irritate our skin as a side effect. And so if mabilis ma-irritate yung skin ninyo or sensitive lang talaga yung skin ninyo in general, I do suggest you skip this step. But as for me, okay naman yung skin barrier ko ngayon. Hindi naman masyadong sensitive yung skin ko. So I will be using an essence from one of my favorite brands in Korean skincare. This is from Beauty of Joseon. And this is their Ginseng Essence Water. And actually, ito guys, pangalawang bottle ko na to. And as you can see, nangangalahati na rin siya. That's how much I enjoy using this product. And the reason is because yung consistency kasi na to guys, very water-like lang siya very very lightweight lang sa skin and if oily yung skin type ninyo you will really enjoy using this so ipapakita ko yung consistency sa inyo guys and ako kapag gumagamit ako ng mga hydrating toners very very generous ako as in mga 7 to 8 drops talaga yung ginagamit ko ayan balance lang natin para hindi siya matapon and let's pat it very very gently onto our face so ingredients wise this does use Panax Ginseng Extracts which has a lot of antioxidants and super duper okay yun because we're using vitamin C right now which is also an antioxidant. So, nabu-boost nila yung isa't isa. And bigay nga na hydrating essence to guys, this does have a lot of really excellent hydrating ingredients. It has pantenol, dipotassium glycerizate, as well as allantoin, all really excellent na hydrating ingredients. And this also has adenosine, which is anti-inflammatory, and nakakatulong din siya sa pag-maintain ng skin barrier natin. And speaking of nourishing our skin barrier, this also has 2% niacinamide. And yes, nakikita ko na yung mga lumalaki yung mata sa inyo. Yo, na iniisip na naman ng iba na parang ha, di ba nais na may bawal siyang ipagsabay sa vitamin C? Na as we've said several times sa channel na to guys, this was based on a very very old study and since then na debunk na siya ng mga experts, board certified dermatologists and cosmetic formulators alike. And actually guys, 2% niacinamide lang naman to, which is actually on the lower end ng effective range ng niacinamide. So, hindi naman siya gaano ka lakas or even ka problematic for me. Pero guys, don't get me wrong, on the lower end siya, pero 2% is still very much effective. And habang nagchichikahan tayo guys, as you can see, fully nagset na yung essence water sa skin natin. And tingnan nyo, hindi talaga siya shiny at all. As in, very natural lang yung finish niya. And yung hydration that I feel is actually very lightweight. As in, tamang-tama lang, especially for oily skin. Alright, so now na na-prep na natin yung skin natin ng mabuti, it's now time for the main event. Finally, ito na yung vitamin C serum. So the vitamin C serum that I'm going to be using for this routine, very very well-known ito na vitamin C from a very reputable brand. And that is a of course, the brand by Wishtrend, and this is their Pure Vitamin C 21.5% Advanced Serum. And as you can see, guys, nasa box siya ngayon because sobrang OC talaga ako. Kasi yung setup ko ngayon, merong malaking light na nakatapat sa akin. And as you guys know, yung vitamin C nga, mabilis siyang ma-destabilize and mag-oxidize kapag na-expose siya sa strong light or even just sa air. And may kita niyo yun, kapag na-destabilize na siya or nag-oxidize na siya, meaning nag-orange na yung kulay ng serum. And kapag nakita nyo yung nangyayari yun guys, ayun na siya. You have to buy a new vitamin C serum kasi that won't be effective on your skin anymore. Actually, it can just irritate your skin. At para makita niyo na walang halong magic to, o oh, yan, yung serum lang talaga yung linagay ko dito guys. And ayun nga guys, sabi sa pangalan niya, this does have 21.5% pure L-ascorbic acid or pure vitamin C. And medyo na sa higher end siya to make sure na mas mataas yung chances na more vitamin C will absorb into your skin. But that also means you have to use this sparingly. Or in other words, kailangan matipid mo siyang ginagamit. So, ganito ko siya ginagamit, guys. Ibabalik ko na siya sa box para hindi na siya ma-expose sa light. So, papakita ko sa inyo, guys, kung gaano lang karami yung ginagamit ko. Actually, I just put around mga 2 drops. Konting-konti lang. Not even the size of the dropper. It's in one 
to. Alam, balik na natin siya. Baka ma-oxidize. Okay, balik na natin sa box. And then, yung two drops na to, guys, i-rub ko siya sa palms ko. And then, I will gently pat it on to my face. And alam ko, guys, baka for you, napaka-konti ng two drops. Pero trust me on this, guys, mas okay ng mas konti kesa sa sumobra kayo ng vitamin C. Kasi talaga ako, nung nasobrahan ako nito, namula talaga yung face ko and humapdi talaga siya. And of course, ayaw natin yung mangyari. But if you guys feel like you want to add like maybe one extra drop, pwede naman, siguro mga two to three drops. Huwag nyo lang talaga gawing sobrang generous yung paglagay ninyo na parang essence siya or parang toner siya. Kasi yung amount lang na just right to cover all the spots on your face. And as you can see guys, kapag konti lang yung nilagay nyo, you won't really see like a significant shine on your face. And actually, very lightweight and hydrating din to, which is actually very unique to yung mga vitamin C ng mga Korean skincare brands. Kasi usually yung sa US skincare brands, they feel a little bit more sticky, a bit thicker. And so, usually kapag naghahanap ako ng vitamin C serums or vitamin C products in general na mas hydrating, mas comfortable sa skin, I really usually go to Korean skincare. Alright, and now na nalagay na natin yung vitamin C natin, we move on to our next step. And actually, this next step is optional. If oily yung skin type ninyo, you can skip this. But, if dry dry or sensitive yung skin type niyo in particular, I really think you will find this step helpful. So, sabi ko nga kanina guys, diba? Yung vitamin C, especially yung mga higher strength ng vitamin C guy nung ginamit natin, can sometimes be irritating on our skin. And so, it's really good to have a soothing and nourishing and calming na moisturizer on the side. As in, nandun lang siya, ready to save your skin kapag sobrang na-irritate siya from vitamin C or any other active in general. So, sa channel ko naman, marami na ako na-recommend na mga best moisturizers that also have soothing and calming ingredients. Pero for this routine, I will be using another K-Beauty brand na sobrang-sobrang popular talaga. And sobrang nagugustuhan ko talaga tong product na to from them. This is from the brand I'm From and this is their rice cream. I'm a really, really big fan of the I'm From Rice range. If you saw before, ni recommend ko na rin yung rice toner nila. That's also really, really hydrating and soothing to the skin. And this one is no different, guys, as in soothing na soothing pa rin talaga siya sa skin, but naging cream form lang siya. And as we all know, guys, rice is really one of the more soothing na plant extracts. Siguro mararang ko siya only next to oat. Siguro oat yung pinaka-soothing for me. And then next na si rice. So now, maglalagay lang ako ng small amount on my face, but I will put more on my hand kasi gusto ko talagang makita ninyo yung texture nito. Ayan. So isa-swatch ko siya dito sa kamay ko. And as you can see, very creamy siya na texture. Pero yung feeling niya sa skin talaga, guys, is super duper airy and nourishing lang talaga at the same time. Kasi diba pag iniisip mo nourishing, iniisip mo parang sobrang kapal. This one guys is just so silky smooth and yung richness niya is tamang-tama lang talaga. And again guys, ang responsible for this talaga is yung product formulation nito. Pag tinignan mo sa likod yung ingredients list nito, may kita mo yung combination of cetyl ethyl hexanoate, also hydrogenated polyisobutin, and also yung isang ingredient na napakahirap i-pronounce, yung penta erythritol tetraethylhexanoate. O, pak! First try ko yun, guys. Tanong nyo pa yung editor ko. First try ko yun. Wow! But anyway, again, I know nakaka-nosebleed yung mga terms na yun. But all you guys have to know is, yung ingredients na yun help this moisturizer and other moisturizers become very silky smooth to the skin. And nag-form lang sila ng very, very lightweight na film. And yung film na yun helps smoothen the skin as well as help maintain yung moisture ng skin para hindi siya mabilis mag-dry. But anyway, fully na siya nag- absorb so I'm just going to get more para ilagay sa face ko. And while I do that, I will be sharing with you their other ingredients in this formula as well. So this does have other skin smoothening ingredients like shea butter, beeswax, glycerol stearate, and panthenol. And of course, our favorite ingredients to help protect our skin barrier, we also have ceramides and phytosphingosines. And as we all know, very well researched yung ingredients na yun to really help keep our skin barrier intact. Lalo na for dry and sensitive skin types because yung mga skin types na yun, medyo naglalak sila ng mga ceramides sa skin nila. So, applying them topically will really, really help. Yan. And diba, kahit medyo marami-rami akong nilagay talaga sa face ko or marami-rami akong dinat, ang bilis niya rin talaga mag-absorb and it really feels rich on the skin pero silky smooth and sobrang comfortable talaga yung feeling niya. As in, baka sobrang okay ko sa pag-describe pero very pillowy soft talaga siya. O diba, arte? Pero promise guys, yun talaga yung feeling. So, ayun, this is really one of the moisturizers in K-Beauty na kung meron kang budget, I would highly, highly recommend it. Again, if dry or sensitive yung skin type mo, you will really, really love this. As in guys, grabe rin kasi talaga yung ino-offer ng quality ng Korean skincare ngayon. 
sobrang tumataas talaga. As in for me, masakit siya sa wallet pero parang ang sarap niya sa mukha. Parang iba na yun. <laughs> Alright, so now moving on to the next step of this routine. We of course cannot forget this kapag umaga nyo ginagawa yung vitamin C routine ninyo. Especially since yung vitamin C na ginamit natin kanina, nakakatulong siya in particular to help boost this step. And this step is of course our sunscreen. Now okay, technically yung vitamin C, pwede mo naman siya gamitin in the morning or in the evening kung saan talaga mas kasha siya sa skincare routine ninyo. Pero vitamin C is actually the most beneficial to use in the morning because ang vitamin C guys, gaya nga ng sabi natin kanina, antioxidant siya. And vitamin C, being a very potent na antioxidant, one of the best ingredients talaga siya to help boost sunscreen in fighting yung tinatawag nating mga free radicals. So yun yung environmental damage na nakukuha ng skin natin. And yun din kasi yung nakakapag-cause ng mga signs of aging sa skin natin like fine lines and wrinkles. And of course, also nakakatulong din siya sa brightening aspect ng vitamin C. Because as with any brightening product guys, kung hindi ka naman gumagamit ng sunscreen, hindi siya nagiging effective talaga. Kasi walang kwenta yung ginagamitin yung brightening products kung hindi niya sinasabayan ng sunscreen during the day. Kaya even if hindi aging yung skin concern ninyo, sunscreen will always, always, always be a must. And for those na oily and acne prone yung skin type na medyo naingit doon sa I'm from na rice cream, don't worry guys because I also got you a moisturizing sunscreen that also has rice in it. So sa mga lagi na nanonood ng videos ko sa channel, especially yung mga sunscreen videos, you guys probably already know this. This is of course from our favorite brand, yung laging sold out sa Kay Beauty Cafe na Beauty of Jawson Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics. And ayun nga guys, na-mention ko na to doon sa best 2-in-1 moisturizer plus sunscreen na video ko and top option to doon. Kasi talaga guys, this is one of the best sunscreens in Kay Beauty if hindi ko pa nasabi kanina. And napakaraming talaga sa skincare community, they really love this. Pati yung mga friends ko, kung merong friends ako na nanonood ngayon, comment nyo down below. Confident ako na ang dami ninyo talaga na bumili and sobrang nagustuhan ito. Kasi guys, yung texture talaga nito, sobrang sobrang ganda talaga for a sunscreen. Napaka lightweight but at the same time, it just gives the right balance of moisture and hydration onto the skin. And the best part, wala pa tong white cast. So, papakita ko sa inyo ha, lalagay ako ng medyo maraming amount on the skin so you can really see how the sunscreen blends super well. Ayan, and of course, do not forget the eye area, ang ears, huwag din po natin kalimutan, and of course, the neck area, and usually nakakalimutan ng iba, yung likod ng neck. Ayan, so spread na natin siya guys, and as you can see, nakakabilis na talagang mag-blend onto the skin. As in, parang ka lang talagang naglalagay ng lightweight moisturizer onto your skin. And again, love ko to guys, because this really does have soothing ingredients. Again, this also has a rice extract. Meron din siyang adenosine, which is also a very, very good soothing ingredient. And of course, we can't forget yung probiotics niya, which also has a bit of antioxidant. So that also works together with the vitamin C. Aside from that, okay na okay din yung sun protection nito guys because this does have SPF 50, PA 4+, and napakataas nun. Meaning it will protect you very very well from UVB rays, which is yung nakakasunod ng skin, and UVA rays, which cause yung mga dark spots and yung aging ng skin. And kasi guys, yung gamit din nilang UV filters dito, yung top-notch talaga, very excellent. UV filters, very stable. So aside from the texture, maaasahan mo rin talaga yung protection ng sunscreen na to. And as you can see guys, ayan, it blends really, really well onto the skin. Hindi rin siya sobrang makintab. Tamang-tama lang talaga yung moisture that you get, especially if you are oily and acne bro. No wonder why lagi itong sold out kasi talaga guys, quality naman talaga siya and for less than 1,000 pesos. Di ba nga nung time na na-discount to, around mga 600 plus. Pero normally, around mga 700 to 800 lang siya. So sobrang sulit talaga nito. And ang recommendation ko is i-check nyo na kasi baka mauubos na naman to kapag nakita ng mga tao yung video na to. So grab yours while you can. Alright, so bigay na ang sunscreen is our last step in our skincare routine. Ayun na siya guys. That has been our vitamin C routine. Sana meron kayong na-pick up or na-learn sa routine na to because minsan talaga sobrang confusing gamitin ng vitamin C. And para lang medyo mas careful pa tayo in using vitamin C in our routine, I do have three final tips for you guys. So the first tip is to start slow and hindi nyo kailangan gamitin everyday ang vitamin C when you first start using it. Try nyo muna na mga 2 times a week or 3 times a week and then see how your skin responds and then if kaya ng skin niyo, 
pwede nyo nang i-build up to every other day or every day na. So, listen to your skin first. Tip number two is to store your vitamin C properly. Make sure you store it in a cool, dry, and dark place. Ako guys, hindi ko siya dito nilalagay sa CR because opposite yung CR sa lahat na yon. Mainit siya, ang dami niyang ilaw, ba? So, ako kapag nag-store ako ng vitamin C, I put it sa cabinet ng kwarto ko. Yung iba nilalagay pa nila sa ref and okay lang din naman yon. pero careful lang, baka merong kapamilya nyo na makakain ng vitamin C. Char! And tip number three, if gumagamit kayo ng iba pang mga active sa routine, like for example, AHAs or BHAs and retinoids specifically, make sure to use them at different times of the day. So for example, gumagamit kayo ng vitamin C sa umaga, huwag niyong isabay yung retinoids or yung AHA, BHA sa umaga. Gamitin niyo lang sila siguro sa gabi. Kasi kapag pinagsabay niyo sila, that can cause again irritation and malaki na namang problema yon and we don't want to deal with that. So do make sure to keep those tips in mind and again guys, kung meron kayong mga nagustuhan na products in this video, again, naglagay na ako ng mga product links in the description box that lead directly to the K-Beauty Cafe official store in Lazada and Shopee para hindi na kayo mahirapang maghanap. And if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!